Welcome to Clear the Air. We got furloughs, firings, and actual fires, people. These are unprecedented times. And in these times, we need to hold accountable those truly responsible for our pain and suffering. Does this thing have a shower? Because I should probably. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. <What>? Okay. <laughs> okay. Jesus, Damon, shouldn't your first sentence be like, long time no see, or I missed you? It's really great to see you again, Jess. Okay, that'll work. <laughs> well, sit down, take a load off. Uh, no thanks. I've been driving for the last six hours, and my legs could really use the stretch if that's okay. Yeah. When Dad says the great outdoors, he forgets to mention how far the outdoors really are. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, where is he, by the way? Inside. Duh. Duh, yeah. What, did you think he sprouted legs and went for a walk? No, of course I didn't think that. <laughs> Relax, I'm kidding. I'll go get him. Oh my, really? His thermos. Use what you got, okay? Fair enough. Besides, it's only temporary. You find a spot for him yet? One or two. But I wanted to wait until you got here so we could decide together. Great. Let me unpack my stuff. We can get going. Don't you want to eat first? I mean, he's not going anywhere. <laughs> Damon, come on, we haven't even had a chance to catch up yet. You're not getting away that easily this time. Start the grill. Let's eat. here for you. That's a start. Hey, you know the RV sleeps a whole family, right? Uh-huh. 
and there's that storm coming in tonight. Which is why I wanted to reschedule this whole trip in the first place. Well, do you want a tour? Sure. No. So this is the outside. Cool, cool. When did dad get this again? Oh man, it was years ago. Actually, it was a couple of months after you left. <laughs> yeah, of course it was. Friggin' box on wheels. Wasn't dad all about the true camping experience or something? What was the, the tent not good enough for him anymore? You know, I think his back needed a real mattress. So, dining area, kitchenette, um, bathroom is in there, bed, obviously I've got dibs on that. There is another place to sleep if you change your mind about the tent. Okay. You know, it's funny. This is actually a lot nicer than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> well, it's not Cousin Eddie's. No. No, it's not. Hey, um, do you need help with anything for dinner? Um, if you could take the buns out, that'd be great. Yeah, yeah, sure. Was I, was I scared? I don't remember. I, I feel like I just wanted to see our cat. <laughs> I feel like you were not terrified at all. The rest of us thought you were going to fall and break your neck, but you were not faced. <laughs> It was just chaos. I bet. <laughs> oh my god. Hmm. So no barber shops open yet? Uh oh, uh no. Uh they are, but you know, I'm not taking any chances. Uh better safe than sorry, you know. There's a ton of DIY stuff online you can watch. Maybe I'm going for a new look. What? The Neanderthal? <laughs> you look like a caveman, David. Well, we kind of feel like we're back in time, right? I mean, maybe I'm just caught up with the current trends. <laughs> so, how's everything been going? Well, I think like everybody else, you know, good days and bad days. How about you? About the same. Could be better, but uh, could be a lot worse. You're keeping busy though, right? Oh yeah, of course. I mean, you have to if you uh, want to stay sane. Mm. I, uh, I'm sure that cremation stuff was interesting for you. Oh, God. <laughs> you know, it's so sad because there just, there aren't really any other options these days. So I was lucky enough to know somebody, you know, not a lot of people are right now. Yeah. God. Dad can get a shiny new RV, but he can't splurge on new camping chairs, huh? <laughs> I fought him on that for years. <laughs> oh. oh. Of course you did. Some things just never change, though. <laughs> no. No, they don't. Hey. Thanks for coming, by the way. Yeah, uh, don't mention it. Dad would be astounded to find the two of us Jess, sitting... Jess, um, like I said, don't mention it. Listen, if it's all the same to you, I just want to spread his ashes, send him off, and be done with it. Was it really that bad? <laughs> what, the uh, falling out, that's what he called it, right? <sighs> Listen, I just didn't want to be under his iron fist any longer than I had to be, Jess. It's called being a single parent. I mean, I'm sure it wasn't easy. Maybe you shouldn't have left mom then. Demon. Am I wrong? <laughs> I mean, what did you expect, Jess? We were gonna lay him to rest, no fuss, no muss. Yeah, you know what? Out of respect for dad, I thought maybe that's the least that you could do. You know what? I respectfully disagree. 
you doing? I'm going to bed. That storm is going to whisk you away, you ass. Sounds real cozy. You have a good night. Back in my tent. You uh, I think I would look like Jack from The Shining out there. <laughs> I think that'd be honestly. Look, Jess, about what I said earlier. I will kick you right back into the cold. I swear to God. I wasn't wrong, Jess. No, you weren't. He was an ass. So Mom left, right? But you know what that did? It scared him, down to the core. She was gone and he couldn't get her back. Was it an easy transition? Hell no. He had a lot that he had to figure out trying to balance the both of us. But you know what, Damon, he tried. For you, Jess. He tried for you. He and I, we clashed on everything, even before mom left. He and I, we had nothing in common. But you, you were just perfect. I mean, classic rock, you played all the sports that you could imagine. And <laughs> honestly, he couldn't have been more proud of you. But when we had a free weekend, it was this. This is all we ever did, the three of us, just camping. Let's head up to the site this weekend. Fishing season's open. Oh. We might get to see a good view of the full moon from up here. I mean, come on. You felt it, the pressure to raise us right like he was before. I didn't like that life. And I tried to tell him that. And did he listen? Did he understand what I was saying to him? No. God, no. Why would he ever do that? And when Mom left, what did he do? We doubled down on all this. 
Family time this. Get togethers that. I mean, good lord, there was no escaping it, Jess. I mean, you even you could see that. And, you know, I... I'm sorry, but yeah, the first chance that I got, I was out of here. I couldn't breathe. I get, Jess, that it wasn't constricting for you, but it was suffocating. It was suffocating for me. And I hope you can understand that. Not one phone call. Oh Not my. a single text oh message. Oh my God, grow up! So you didn't have your little brother. Big deal. You had dad. And I had my own problems to deal with, by the way. So I'm sorry if the third wheel didn't think to drop a phone call every now and then. Then what are you doing here, demon? Six years you've been gone! Six years! You think you could get over this shit! But here I am, listening to my pissy little brother like he's 16 again! Damon, you did the same thing that Mom did! You bailed on us! So you know what? Get out of his RV, get your shit packed, and get off his campsite! I'm not here for him, you idiot! You and him were attached by the hip until he died, okay? I saw your Facebook posts and shit. He was smiling and laughing, having the greatest time with you. I could give a shit about Dad, okay? But when he kicked the bucket, my first thought, my very first thought, was what's going on with you. I mean, you two were so close, and I couldn't imagine what that was like for you. With him gone, how alone you were. Thinking to yourself, life ain't fair, but you gotta get over it. But deep down, you know it still sucks. Damon. And you think about all the years you waste not being there, being involved. And, uh, I mean, you tell yourself it's okay, but it's really not. Damon. Hey, I cut Damon. myself out and I was happy with that decision, okay? Don't ever think twice about that. I was happy with it. But then all of this screwed that up. And then he died, which put you in this spot. And I realized I had to step up and I didn't know how to do that. And you were all alone because, and everything that happened with us. I didn't know how to fix it. And okay. I didn't know, no, no, it's not okay. It's not okay, Jess. I didn't know what to do. And I'm supposed to be here for you. You should be the mess because you, you were there for dad. And I'm supposed to be here for you right now. A good brother for his big sister is supposed to not be strong for once, okay? I can take care of myself. I was able to do that my whole life. Okay. I'm sorry, Jess. Shh. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's not okay. It's okay. It's not okay. It's okay. It's not okay. It's not okay. I lost him. I lost him. I lost him. I'm gonna lose you too. No, Damon, look at me. You're not gonna lose me, okay? I'm right here. Okay, I'm right here. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. the walls of reality start to cave in let your love in you've got so much to give so much to give so much to give time you've been on my mind as your sand seeps through my hands love Transcends your pace Far beyond the rat race It's not death we fear It's of losing you Just a drop in the ocean blue When the walls of reality Start to cave in Let your love in You've got so much to give so much to give.
No, no, I'm just saying, if we already agreed that the lake was a good spot, why are we going to another one? Options are important, Damon. Besides, isn't it fitting that Dad's making us hoof it to find the perfect spot? Is it fitting? Oh yeah. Am I fit for it? Absolutely not. That was always one of his regrets. What was? Just not being a better coach for you. A better mentor in general. Not a weekend went by that he didn't bring you up, Damon. Every camping trip, he always set up your chair. Said it was just in case you swung on by. He always asked if you were okay. And I told him to call you, but like you, he was stubborn. <laughs> Two peas in a pod, Damon. Oh, whoa. Okay, I admit it. This was the much better spot. Should we get started? Uh. He's gonna love it. You wanna say something? Do I even deserve to? Of course you do. Um, hey dad, um, I know we always didn't see eye to eye on, uh, well, everything. I'm sorry I wasn't as patient with you as I should have been. I, uh, know how hard it must have been for you to try and take care of both of us, and here I am, uh, making it a hundred times worse. I wish I would have appreciated the time you carved out for us, for our family outings. But you taught Jess everything you knew. I guess it's not a total loss. So you are coming camping again. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I was stubborn <clears throat> and an ass. But Jess told me you were like that too. And you worked so hard to change for the better. And I'm gonna do the same. So thanks, Dad. <clears throat> uh, did you wanna say anything? Hmm. Thanks for everything, Dad. Even when times got tough, you taught me so much. I'll always be grateful for that. I do have to admit though, Damon's right, the chair's gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> we'll always have you, Dad. Love you. J Jess, are you sure? Yeah. Just up and out. Don't hit us. <laughs> to make you proud someday I know you don't care about all those accolades